celebration day one. Um, I have done a little bit, um, watched some videos on UCAT, done a little bit um, on the stuff. But um, yeah, I'll, do, I'll be doing some abstract reasoning today. I won't be doing much because it's actually quite late in the night, it's 10.32. But, yeah, I'll be doing the section that I can't do at all, which is absolute reasoning, which is, um, yeah. Uh, can't do, look at that, uh, I did, okay, not even mention about that. <laughs> absolute reasoning, I'll just do three sets and see how it goes. Uh, I, I'm not good at this section at all. Right, three squares, three lines, one square, three lines, five, and then two lines. Okay, it's three rectangle, five. Five. And one square. Okay, let's look at set B. Four rectangles, two lines. Six rectangles, three lines. Five rectangles, two lines. Six rectangles, three lines. Five rectangles, two lines. Um, so we got four rectangles and four lines. Does that belong to set B? I hate this section. Let's just say set B. Two rectangles and four lines. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <sighs> just, just guess. Okay. Okay, set so is just nine squares. Sixteen. Sixteen squares and nine squares. All right. Uh, eight and nine go. Sixteen. Uh, sixteen. So set B. Uh, that's ten. So it's neither. Sixteen, set B. Nine, which is set A. All right. Um, okay. Let's see how this one. Um. Ok, 
Okay, let's... Hmm... Right. Let's look at this logically. Um... Four, three, and one, one. Three, three, two, two, three. Two and three. Okay, so let's let's look at the colored ones. So we've got one, two, one, two, three and two, one and three, three, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, and four. Okay, two, one, one, three. One, three, two, okay, four, six, three, four, six, seven, four, six, five. Okay, I broke there, unfortunately. Hate <laughs> uh, this section. No idea. I'll get good with practice, I guess. Not very good, is it? So we don't know the first one. Um, <sighs> set A, the total number of shaded quadrilaterals is odd. Five, three, one, one, three. Oh, right. And there's a prime number of lines. Wow. Total set B, the total number of unshaded quadrants was even or prime number of lines. Fair enough. Um, fair enough. So yeah, one, two, three, four. So that would be set B, uh, four. That's not a prime number. Yeah. Uh, two. Neither, definitely. Uh, four neater, one, two, three neater as well, and we guessed that one. What? Although there are 16 squares in total, it cannot fit to give form a four by four square. Wow! Pieces can be fit into a three by three square. Oh, right. That's tricky. Uh, uh, right, so we've got this pattern. Yeah, but not the fit by square thing. Mm. For set A, a pair of diagonal lines divide each pattern into quadrants. The bottom and top quadrants contain six circles. So, Alright. These being these being three black and three white the left are just act as can you run them oh unbelievable this is hard three black and three white three black and three white the pair of diagonal lines right the bottom and top can do five circles uh there's those being made two blacks and three whites and the left and the right distractors so one, two, five, two blacks are set, set B. Yep. Four, neither. Six, that's set A. 
five neither. Wait, no, one to five. That's set B. Yep. Freeze neither. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Got it. This is hard. Uh, so we have to improve our abstract reasoning score a little bit, I think. Do a little bit more. I'm sorry, reasoning. Do three more sets, and I'll probably do um, some some decision making. Then I have to ignore that. That's actually bothering me. Oh well. Set A, set B, and neither. So we got two hours down. Um Okay, so we got two down arrows, two down arrows, right. two horizontal arrows. One is it to close my toes. Okay, these are prime number of arrows, that's it. So they're all prime number of arrows and it's just depend on the house location. Yep. So five prime number of arrows, set B, that's it. Uh, next, prime number of arrows, house set, that's neither, because that's four, prime number of neither. Three set B. Oh, did I select that? Set B. Alright, so we got that. Um here we got two lines. So let's look at set B here. Two lines and then two lines here in a circle. Um Okay, they form a 90 degree, but it doesn't matter here because they're not forming 90 degrees here, is it? Uh, huh, let's see. That looks like to be set A, but I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why about this one, really. Looks like set A. Hmm. I'm not sure how to get back to that. Okay, so we've got triangles. Alright. Um
believe the triangle is a distractor, so let's just ignore the triangle for now. <laughs> okay, maybe we have to look into the triangle. Um, nine. Okay, so let's look at set B and set A. So here we've got nine circles, but without a triangle, with nine, there, there is a triangle. Um, okay, is, is it the line of reflection? So here we got line, it's reflection, yeah? Here you can't reflect, no, it's not. Um... really not sure about this one as well. Wow. This is horrible. Let's see. Okay, that's definitely neater. So that's it, I'll set a neater. Alright, we have to see what it is because I really don't know this stuff. Hmm. Oh, 12 correct, 3 incorrect. It's pretty good. Um, right. So, we don't know. We didn't know this. We knew this one. That took us quite a while, though. So, yeah, our number of hours, the prime number. Yeah, that's, we figured that one out. And obviously, the house location. This one, we don't know. The total interior angles, all shapes and interior lines, summits to 720 degrees. What? Right, so it's, yeah, there's four 90 degree angles there. That's four times 180. Which is one seven hundred twenty. Wait, four times. Yeah, seven hundred twenty. That's not even. Oh, because it's three hundred sixty degrees, isn't it? Our um angle around um. Circle, yeah, three hundred. Yeah, seven hundred twenty. That's three hundred sixty. Wow, three hundred sixty. Um, so that would be 360 plus uh, 360, 720, set A, yeah. That would be for set A as well. Uh, 360, set A. Near, for sure, yeah. That's way too many angles. 360, fair enough. Okay. Let's see what this one's about. Um, for set A, squares form a 3 by 3 grid. Okay, when more than 5 of the squares have a black circle in them, one of the corners has a black triangle. When fewer than 5 squares have a black circle, no corners have a black triangle. Non passing these are 5 squares, grid filled with black circles. Okay, 6. 6. Nine. Oh right. So it's set B four. So that's the reverse. If it's more than five, I guess. Uh more than five. Wow. I mean did guess most for it right though, which is good. So here we have um, set B, yeah, and then that's just, uh, just a diamond, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, therefore it's in set A, yeah. All right. I'm going to do three more 
abstract reasoning set A and set B questions. Three, three, set, three more sets of these. Hopefully feel more confident in them. And I'll do some um, DM. Alright. Okay, so first of all, right away, the lightning symbol is on the left, yeah? And we have to see what the star does. So it's the number of stars corresponding to the type of shape. So I think here it's the number of sides minus two. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, minus two. One, two, three, four minus two. So the number of sides minus two here is the number of sides minus one. Yep, number of sides minus one. And here that's one, two, minus one. All right. So that's set A on the top left corner. That's number of sides minus one. That is set. A, yep, correct. Um, number of sides minus two, that's right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, number of sides minus, yeah, I'm set A. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Minus two is two, that's correct. Set B. So we can see that there. Um, one, two, three. That's neither because the number of sides equals the number of stars. Okay, so we, the arrow pointing at. Okay. So here, um, if it's blank, it's pointing away from the square. Um, if it's filled in, it's po pointing in. Uh, doesn't matter to the star though here it's the reverse it's pointing away it's pointing towards if it's yeah and there's all and there's always an arrow pointing towards the star no matter what shape it uh, if it's colored so pointing towards uh, a yep yeah. Uh, pointing towards blank set B pointing towards blank set B I have to do the alt N I think it'll be quicker alt N is the next question isn't it yep. um, pointing towards blank set B neither because there's no arrow pointing towards the star uh, right. So it's fifteen. It's fifteen. And they can form E. Um, five by three, five by three square. All right, so it's fifteen of these bad boys. Twenty of those bad boys. So twenty, and it can form e five by four. So five by three, and five by four. So here it can form, yeah, it can form E once five by four. You can see, so that will be set B. So it's 25 by four is 20. Um, let's see if this can form. Yeah, it can form E five by four as well. 
uh, if I buy three set A, if I buy three, if I buy four. Right, I think that one I figured out all the rules for it, which is good. Let's see if we can get a decent mark. And that is solid. Um, 14. 14 correct and one wrong here. That would be neater for some reason. Uh, okay, this is long. So we figured out set A rule, there's always an arrow point yeah, there's always an arrow pointing at the star no matter the set. The star is always positioned within a corner. Okay, I didn't realize about that. The color starts to the position. Oh we did not look at that actually. So if it's at the top, it's one well, star, yeah. So here it's at the top. But it is a black star. There is a white star in the top right corner, and there's an arrow pointing. There's a white square with an arrow. This doesn't satisfy. So yeah, did not realize about the top row has to be um, shaded in as well. But that's just a distractor, isn't it? All right, that's pretty pretty good. Solid solid practice. I'm gonna do some decision making. Um, let's see. So I did most of the um, abstract reasoning, that's why it says I dropped most marks in abstract reasoning. I did barely, barely any quantitative reasoning. So let's do some decision making. Uh, I'll do 10 of those. And then we'll call it a day because it's, it's 1 o'clock, it's 1 a.m. at night, and I want to go to sleep. Right. Okay. Logic puzzles. Let's go. Okay, so they all love chocolate. Go shopping, buy one chocolate item each. The only chocolate flavors: white milk and dark. They are male. They are female. Or milk chocolate. None. Chocolate bars are all milk chocolate. None. Co none of the cookies are milk. Uh, okay, so it's chocolate and it's cookies. Berries, melt by white chocolate. Free, have bought cookies and rest bought chocolate bars. Kind of not. Uh, so two white chocolate items were bought. Chocolate bars are all milk chocolate. None of the cookies are milk. Uh, all of them bought milk chocolate. Okay, so two white chocolate items were bought. Um... Barry bought a white chocolate, so we know Barry bought one. Free have bought cookies. And none of the cookies are milk chocolate. So they're all white or dark. Oh god, this is right. So let's write B O C M and T so that we know all right so we know um Barry bought a white chocolate so th so that's the type we got the type and the I mean the flavor And the type. This is I'm I'm spending too much time on this. Uh, all right, so we got white milk and dark, and there's also a cho milk chocolate. Okay, there's also uh, chocolate bars and cookies. So Barry was the only one to buy a white chocolate item. White chocolate. The 
So it's not a cookie bar, is it? Uh, none of the cookies are milk chocolate. So Barry bought a white cookie? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, three have bought cookies and the rest have bought chocolate. Carl and Mary didn't buy cookies. Alright, Carl and Mary didn't buy a cookie, so they bought bars. And free I bought cookies. That's it. So we're figuring them out. And the chocolate bars are all milk chocolate, so it's milk bars. And none of the cookies are milk chocolate, so that could be uh Barry Barry was the only male to buy a white chocolate item. Right, so Barry so Oliver and Tim uh bought dark ch cookies that's it we figured it out two white chocolate items were bought that's false oliver bought a milk oliver bought a milk ch false tim bought dark chocolate dark chocolate cookie that's right three milk chocolate items were bought that's false nice um Racing boots can fasten up an engine greater. Uh, racing boots are can fast engine greater than five hundred horsepower. Slower than racing boats, however, sewing boats can sometimes reach speeds higher than racing boats. Um, a racing boat is considered slow if the engine is less than five hundred. Yes, can imply. Sailing boats can usually reach higher speeds than racing boats. Can usually reach, can usually, but sometimes reach speeds in racing boats. Usually slower. Uh, so racing boats are usually faster than sailing boats. Yes, yeah, sailing boats can fast. If they reach speeds higher than fast racing boats, you cannot imply that. Racing boat fighters considered fast. No, because if we have to consider fast, it's greater than 500 horsepower. Uh, should all students learn to play a musical instrument? Yes, it will improve dexterity. Nope. Yes, this will help to preserve skill playing, which is skill is rapidly declining in today's, and we must. That, that seems great. No, this will not benefit all students. A range of options should be able to grow skill. No, so it will not follow up the skill after the program. So it's between B and C. Range of options should be able to, uh, to help preserve skill playing, which is skill. Yeah, B seems right. Um, some algorithm stuff, isn't it? Um, initial location, some de decision mathematics, decision maths. Right. Initial location of circle and a square. Every turn a circle and the square moves to a different point. The circle moves three points in a clockwise. The square moves four points anti-clockwise. In which turn? And point with a circle and square wheel popping. So circle moves uh, three points clockwise. Turn one. One, two, three. Wait. Four, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, oh my god, okay. First one, okay. Two. Three. Four, five, fifth, 
term point H. I took way too long. Um, have only ever owned four cats. They bought the first cat, Oliver, two years ago. So they bought Luna last year. Their two cats gave birth to Tiger. Uh, yes, was ten when he died. Nope. Um, one of Tiger's parents is Oliver. So last. So yes, we died. So we have Oliver. And, uh, Luna. Yes. Uh. Uh. Currently, Mark and Anthony. Nope. Oh no wait, actually no. Yeah, it is. Two cats actually. We don't know that because we could. Some of them could die. Uh, tiger is a cross between British short hair and Russian blue. Yes, Oliver is two years old. Uh, Luna. Um. So two years, two year, two month. It's actually two point, two point ten. So no, not our triathletes can jump. Some of the people present at the Olympics uh, were triathletes. All, uh, okay, not all triathletes at the Olympics could swim. False. All triathletes at the Olympics could jump. That could jump. Could also swim. Yes. All triathletes. All triathletes can swim. No. Not all triathletes at the Olympics can both jump and swim. Yes, because not all triathletes can jump. Some triathletes at the Olympics cannot jump. Some triathletes at the Olympics cannot jump. Yeah. Oh god. Alright. Different combinations and number of times that she took. What do you mean? Do they add up to um Alright, okay, fair enough. If Jessica took seventy five bus journeys, thirty train and ten taxis she went beyond. Okay, so let's calculate her monthly budget. Um, just 80 plus 120. So the monthly budget is 200. Okay, so we got that. Um, so if it's 75 bus journeys, so 75 bus journeys. Um, All right, so we, oh, we have to find out what the taxi cost is. So that's uh, 200 
uh, minus 45, uh, minus 80, divided by 15, which is 3, 5, sorry. So, tan C is 5. So, if we um, have um, 75 plus 60 plus uh, tan C is 5, so 50, 185, and that's n no. Choose to take 195 plus 20 is. Alright, uh, um, 195 and still have, um, yes, just go still be within it if she plans to take 30 bus journeys, so that's 30, 60, um, plus 120, plus 50, uh, so yes, spend monthly transportation, but really. It's 40, nope, he, she will, uh, 40 spent 80 bus journeys, so 80 plus 20, 100, uh, nope, right. Okay, there are more atoms in one grain of sand than there are ones. Uh, wait, what? Uh, there are more atoms in one grain of sand than there are stars. False, obviously. Uh, the total number of stars and you have less than the number of grains of sand. Uh, false, that's your complete opposite. There are more atoms in one grain of sand uh, than there are grains of sand on Earth. So there are more atoms in one grain of sand. Then there are green. Yeah, that's true actually. If there are five sextillion grains of sand on Earth, then there could not be four sextillion stars, more stars in the universe. So true. If there are three sextillion grains of sand on Earth, then there must be at least at least eight. No, we don't, we can't imply that. Right, two more. Workshop, 10 a.m., four courses. Cannot repeat them. Uh, uh, runs a workshop every week. Uh, uh, each course C can be started when course B is finished. This week, it's five, but not course B for completed exam. Okay, let's do a Venn diagram. Uh, God. Right, so this week, 100 people, so the total is 100. 35 are doing course D, but not course B. Okay, okay, screw this Venn diagram, that's way too complicated. Uh, 45 people have already completed all of the courses. Except for C. Because the 45 have completed A, B, and D. Uh, so I don't do more courses week. week. 
10 people doing free courses this week. Uh, okay, let's figure out how many courses. How many on each course? 35 are doing course D. Okay, so 35 are doing course D. 10 people are doing free courses this week. Forty-five already completed all of the courses, except for C. So forty-five are doing C then, basically, I guess this week. Fifty-five are planning on doing two or more courses this week, while ten plan doing all four courses. Okay, figure it out. 10 people doing free courses this week. Uh, yes, actually, yeah. 555 received certificate this week. Um, So, all right, so, so what we got is I got 10 people doing course A, 10 doing course B, 45 doing course C, and 35 doing course D. Everyone could be signed up to course C. No, because uh, not everyone's finished. Everyone, only 45 people have completed course B already. Yes. Only. F yeah. Fifty-five will see this week. No, it'll be forty for forty-five, wouldn't it? Not sure about that. Everyone's doing course D, doing two more courses this week. Yeah. I'm not sure about the 55 people receive a certificate. I'll say that's no for now. <sighs> okay, Catherine's deciding where to choose mechanics or statistics unit.
Um, Catherine should pick mechanics. Wait, what? That was a weird question. Fingers crossed. Come on. Uh, oh, that's not very good, is it? Look at the times. My times are horrible. And to improve my times a little bit more. Oh, uh, God, why did I spend so long here on chocolate stuff? Slow. Alright, so it didn't say the categorization, fair enough. Oh, there's no evidence to suggest that. Yeah. Uh, let me just be able to go to the school. It's weird, but oh well. Um, wrong here. Not all triathletes at the Olympics. Could both swim and jump. <sighs> God, right, so not all triathletes can jump. Let's do a Venn diagram just to make myself mind clear. Uh, so Venn diagram. Swim. And jump. And then we got... Um, not all triathletes can jump. Some at the Olympics were triathletes. Uh... All triathletes at the Olympics could swim. No all triathletes at the Olympics. Something that not all triathletes can jump, that all triathletes could swim. How we done when the weather during the Olympics? Maybe they can all both jump and swim. Oh yeah, stupid me. Some triathletes at the Olympics cannot jump. That took me so long 
to calculate the average time is 2 minutes 51. Oh god, this question was bad. And we figured this one out for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on here. I guess this one, right? Um, about probability. Um, okay, let's do. Let's redo this again. Uh, okay, considering the likelihood Catherine being able to answer a question, should Catherine pick statistics? Is certain that Catherine will not be able to answer the question. More likely to answer the question correctly than module Y. This one, I got it completely wrong. I uh, check back my notes on it on my iPad. Okay, right. Fifty five doing two or more courses. Seems to be quite see, but I don't know how many of the, the other four to find out. Oh, right, yeah. Um, because 45 people have to do only course C this week. Most 10 more people will do all the courses. The 45 who are doing D, uh, but not B. Okay, I've already finished B, and so I'm doing course C this week. They're doing more than one course, which can include C. Oh, could be signed up.
Alright, fair enough. Alright, that's my score for decision for day one. Not that good, but yeah, I'll get back onto it tomorrow. Do some decision, um, maybe some verbal reasoning tomorrow actually. And uh, we'll start doing some quantitative reasoning and situational judgment soon. Right? See you tomorrow.